Well, let me take the IRS uh, situation first. Uh, I first learned about it from the same news reports that I think most people uh, learned about this. Uh, I think it was on Friday. Um, and uh, you know, th this, this is pretty straightforward. If, in fact, uh, IRS personnel engaged in uh, the kind of practices that have been reported on uh, and were intentionally targeting uh, conservative groups, then that's outrageous. And there's no place for it. Uh, and uh, you know, they have to be held fully accountable uh, because the IRS, as an independent agency, requires absolute integrity, and people have to have confidence that they're applying it in a nonpartisan way, uh, applying the laws in a nonpartisan way. Um, and you should feel that way regardless of party. I don't care whether you're a Democrat, Independent, or a Republican. Uh, at some point, there are going to be Republican uh, administra uh, administrations. At some point, there are going to be Democratic ones. Either way, you don't want the IRS ever uh, being uh, perceived to be biased and anything less than neutral in terms of how they operate. So uh, this is something that I think people are, are properly concerned about. Uh, the IG is conducting its investigation. Uh, and you know, I am not going to comment on uh, their specific findings prematurely. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, if you've got the IRS operating in anything less than a neutral and nonpartisan way, uh, then that is outrageous. It is contrary to our traditions. Uh, and people have to be held accountable, and it's got to be fixed. So uh, we'll wait and see uh, what exactly uh, all the details and the facts are. Uh, but I've got no patience with it. I will not tolerate it, and we will make sure uh, that uh, we find out exactly what happened on this.